What's up guys, I'm taking a bus trip from Cusco to Puno and along the way I'm taking five stops. I'm taking a five star service so we'll see how the lunch is, we'll see how the spaces are and I'll take you along to the five different sites that we're going to be able to see along this space. Now behind me is the Church of San Pedro and the city of Anoa'ia. Now what's fascinating about this church is it's said to be the Sistine Chapel of South America. Now when I went inside, we can't take any pictures, it was absolutely fascinating. It was really a representation of the power of the Jesuit Brotherhood in South America. The reason why this church is so phenomenal inside is because the Jesuit controlled the silver trade from the time of inception that it was controlled all the way through the 18th century. So they were able to build phenomenal power and phenomenal wealth that's reflected in this church. Now you can also see in the church a reflection of the way that the different brotherhoods converted the Inca. Now the way they did this was through symbology. Now they used the sun, they used the idea of the spirit, they used the idea of salvation afterwards to convert these people. And and right at the very top of this church, you can see a sun or an obelisk. The sun was so very important when it came to the Inca, and they used this tool as the sun, or the son of God, to really convert these people. Now, a temple in the Inca time was called the Waka. Now, this is built right over the top of a Waka, as many different some, as many different temples are built over by churches. So, when you look or are able to come to this church, realize. The symbology, the iconography, is truly used to convert these people. Not to mention the reason why this church is so powerful and the reason why this church is so elegant is because of the power of the silver going between Bolivia, Puno, and de Cusco and on to Lima. So really, the power of the Catholic Church is reflected here because of money and the idea to convert using different tools and tricks to convert the Inca people from their spirituality and worship of the different elements to the worship of Jesus Christ. So this is just a glimpse of what it may look like inside after they're done with restoration. There's much work going on inside right now, but you can see the grandeur and the glory and how much wealth was put into this space. You can also see the tourist trade here, where there's all kinds of buses, all kinds of tourists, and of course, things to buy.